everybody, and welcome to What's That? Another exciting episode. Today, I'm Dr. Alan Partridge, a WE Learning Evangelist. And today, we're going to be finding out how you can actually use video inside a table of contents inside your Adobe Captivate project. A lot of people have a tremendous amount of legacy PowerPoints. They like to work with those PowerPoints, and they like to have a talk along see what the speaker was saying while they were showing the powerpoints a lot of people have this problem each and every day let's see how you can do it okay so you go to your copy of adobe captivate 5 and you're going to create a new presentation based on a microsoft powerpoint choose the microsoft powerpoint that was used for the actual presentation uh here in our case we'll just uh grab a hold of something quick like here let me see let's grab uh, this one sure okay so we grab a Microsoft PowerPoint we open that Microsoft PowerPoint using the converter inside of Captivate as soon as your PowerPoint project is open and ready for import you simply import the PowerPoint and start a new project you can leave all the default settings the way they are excellent now we'll need to make sure that the table of contents is enabled for the PowerPoint presentation just go to window and then go to skin editor and then turn off the playback bar because we probably don't need it. And turn off the borders. We probably don't need them. And then turn on the table of contents here in this third button here. Table of contents automatically displaying here. Now you can play with the formatting, make the table of contents any way you want it to be. In my case, I'll just leave it at the default setting. Once you've got your table of contents in place, you're ready to put in your video. Just insert and then slide video. Bring in the video that you want to use and choose open. Now that video is automatically going to come in and it's going to plunk down. You want it to plunk down right there on the first slide. But in our case, we want the video to spread out across all the slides. So we're going to start in the first one and then say OK. And the video will automatically spread itself out across the subsequent slides. No problem. Look at split. Now don't worry that your video is in that first place. It's going to be perfectly fine on the stage there because we're going to go up here to the video drop down and then choose video management once we choose video management look up here at the top you see where it says show video on drop down that menu O T O C table of contents we just switch it to show the video on table of contents and then say OK now watch what happens when we go to the project preview we choose the project preview drop down then choose to preview this project watch what happens to our speaker There he is, right where he ought to be, right over here on top of the table of contents, speaking his way through. And you can see as we click through each of these slides subsequently, the speaker will continue to speak. Now, you may be wondering, hey, but wait a minute, how do I ensure that I get the speaker speaking on the right place for each slide? Well, no problem. In order to coordinate that, all you have to do... All you have to do is just come back here. And then open up the property inspector. And then here from the property inspector, you're going to choose the video on the stage there. And then choose edit video timing. So you can adjust the video timing. Turn on the swift preview if you like. You'll be able to see each of those PowerPoint slides. Right? Then just adjust the timing of the speaker. You can play the video back like so. And you just move the slides into the position that you want them to be so that your markers all line up and put your person exactly where you need them to be. And once you're done, just hit OK, and then you're ready to play. That's all for this time.